My name is Ethan Martin and I'm with Telltale's Fly Shop and today I'm going to talk to you about dry dropper rigs. A dry dropper rig is a way to fish two flies at once and it's an incredibly effective way on our small streams here in Virginia. Uh, most times it is a dry fly that's on the top and then the dropper, which is typically a nymph of some kind. It could either have a bead head to it or some kind of weight to help the fly get down. This is one of the most common ways that we fish our small streams here in Virginia. Uh, it's very simple to do. So you just you take the leader, you have the rod all rigged up, ready to go, you're on the water, you take the leader, you go to the end of it, you attach your dry fly. Any simple knot will do. I typically like doing a baby knot. Once the dry fly is attached, you will take some tippet. And this is the, the most common way to do this, is to take tippet to the bend of that dry fly hook. And the amount of tippet that you use is going to depend on where you're fishing. The main thing is going to be the depth that you're trying to fish. So there's not one specific length of tippet that you're going to want to use. Uh, it could be anything from foot to three foot of tippet. Uh, really what's going to be best on most of our small streams is anywhere from 16 inches to 24 inches. That's what I use most frequently. So you simply just tie your leader to the dry fly, then from the bend of the hook you're going to have it's about 16 inches of 4x tippet. And then we're going to take our nymph, which today we'll just put on a pumpkin prince nymph. tie it just like you're tying to the end of a leader. Now this is a very effective way to fish because you're throwing trout or any fish two different types of food and it's at two different water levels. So if a trout in one hole wants to come up and eat a dry fly then that's what he's going to do. If the majority of the time trout like to eat the nymphs um, there have been days where I've had fish that do not care about the nymph. All they want to do is eat the dry fly. Uh, on those days, you can actually add two dry flies. There's no rules in fly fishing. You know, there's no, you really can't do this. Uh, you can add two dry flies. Uh, you could do a popper and a woolly bugger and use this method for a smallmouth uh, or any other type of bass or bluegill. Um, now, the disadvantages of using a dry dropper rig flies at once. Uh, it means you're going to get hung up and stuff a little bit easier. Uh, you might have doubled your chances of catching the fish, but you've probably tripled or quadrupled your chances of screwing something up. Uh, so the downside, if you're a new uh, or novice angler, there, this is going to be a little bit more unruly to cast because you've got a hinge point, which is your dry fly, where when your leader unfurls or uh, lands, it's going to have this extra bit, the nymph, that's going to drive it in. Um, now one of the most effective ways how I set this up on my leader on our small streams is I start with a seven and a half foot leader. Uh, I chop that back to where it's about six foot. So I start with six foot and then I will tie on my dry fly, tie on my 16 to 24 inches of tippet, and now my leader is in that seven and a half to eight foot range. Uh, that's on our small streams. That's one of the most effective ways to fish them. It's with a dry dropper rig. Uh, and if you're having problems casting it, one of the main things that you can do is cut back on your leader length. That will make it a little bit easier to cast. Uh, if you're having problems with the dry fly sinking, then what you can do is either use a lighter nymph, so one that doesn't have a bead head, perhaps or one that has a smaller bead head, or you can use a bigger dry fly. So 
Some of my favorite dry flies to use are a parachute atoms in big sizes, like a size 10, size 12. Uh, another common one is stimulators here in Virginia, a uh, yellow stimulator in the size 10 or size 8. Even size 6s can be excellent. Uh, and so this is a very simple way to fish. Uh, this guy is going to act like a bobber when a trout eats the nymph, your dry fly goes under. And then obviously when a trout eats the dry fly, you're going to see it happen. So it's a, a pretty cool way to fish. Uh, I would strongly recommend it. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot them by email or call the shop uh, or just come in the shop. So if you have any questions, please send them my way.